All right, folks, what's up? Welcome to Day 2 Arena Open Draft 2. Got the three ones, so that means no losses to give if we want max cash. No losses to give if we want any cash, in fact. Um, so that's where we're going to be at here. Um, if you haven't already, you can check out uh, Draft 1 if you want. It's pretty interesting. Here we don't get to open a Fonzbane troll, but we do have... I think it quickly comes down to High Fae Negotiator versus Torch. Man, that's tough. My gut says it's Torch, but there's also a Hearth Elemental. I am going to check the old 17 lands, I think, just just to see if it's close or whatever. 58. No, it doesn't look that close. Looks like Torch is just definitely there. Got to give the nod to the one mana play. I love High Fae Negotiator. I like Hearth Elemental, um, but we'll take Torch here. Uh, over Asinine Antics, I don't think Antics is that good. Um, okay. Ooh. I was about to just be happy to take Hopeful Vigil. Because I don't know how I feel about the Ruby life, but that was before I saw Cut In. And I am just going to take Cut In. Red Green is like a deck that I understand in theory, but not in practice. For myself, at least. White, I really understand. I love Hopeful Vigil, but I think Cut In is definitely worth uh, following up here just to stay red. See if there are any... No, an Uncommon was taken out of this pack, so nothing really for us to glean there. And then we get to glean a Johan. While I don't think Blue Red is a deck I am particularly good at drafting, I do think Blue Red is a good deck. Um, Johan is definitely the best card here. I have been pretty underwhelmed by Picklock Prankster. Like, two mana, one, three Flying Vigilance is just fine, you know? Um, but generally, like, the adventure whiffs a lot more often than you think it will. Um, so basically, unless this is your top deck, you never adventure this. Um, like, even in blue-black fairies, this whiffs a good amount. So anyway, we take Johan here. <sighs> Uh, I would take Prankster, except there's a Rat Catcher Trainee. There's also a Balloon as Gatekeeper. You always want, I think, one of those in your blue decks. But we don't have to be blue. Let's just be aware of that. Like, Johan is good, but Trainee third is great, too. Black, common, missing. Black, common, missing. That feels really good to have not taken High Fae as well. So let's snap up the Trainee. Uh, it'd be interesting if... I don't think I would take Brute if uh, Trainee were not here. I think I would take one of the blue cards. And now we have... We have a Brute, but we also have Vigil and Casket. I think... I guess Vigil, Casket, and Pie Wielder. I do think Vigil is the best of the bunch. Red-White is great. I would love to draft Red-White. Um, if someone wants to open an Imidane Recruiter and pass it to me, or I can just open it myself. Otherwise, I think if we're staying like on color or whatever, we would take Brute. I don't really want to take Ice out. I do generally want my red decks to have a gnawing crescendo. Um, but I do think all of that is going to sort of come short, come up short uh, when we're talking about it in conjunction with the Hopeful Vigil here. All right, finally, we have an option for a Ginger Brute, which I think I will take, because there's a Dragon Mantle, too. I've been pretty unimpressed by this. Like, yes, I know the the dream here of Brute plus Mantle, and I like Into the Fey Court. I'm not ready to commit to Blue yet, you know? Not ready to commit to Blue. I think I'm sort of in a let's get as deep into Red as we possibly can and get out of Pack 1 and figure the rest out in Pack 2. Brute will be a red card in only some versions of red decks. But if red is as open at this table as I think it is, or as it possibly is, that's a sick cooped up pick seven is awesome. Um, a couple counter spells as well that I like. Um, so I was thinking about red being as open as I, I thought it might be at this table. Um, I don't anticipate the the elemental to wheel, the uncommon adventure four five in red to wheel, but there was a... Um, a Witch's Mark in that pack, which plays really well with the Brute. Anyway, we're taking Cooped up here. Uh, interesting. There's a Ruby. And there's a second Ruby that could wheel, and that would definitely um, make me want to think about red-green as well. I, I'm, I'm never playing Beseech. I don't care about Sleight of Hand. Break the Spell is a sideboard card. So 
Ruby with a couple green cards here, I think, is is worth taking and speculating on, and I'm totally fine to like. Ooh, light blades. Now, light blades not um interesting. Light blades isn't that good. Uh, it's just the best card here, so I'm gonna take it. Antics wield. That's fine. I think you could think about quick study with the Johan, but I'm just gonna take light blades. We may not want to main deck it, um, but. We actually don't have to be aggressive too. Does that mean I want to like take Gatekeeper and think about being like Jeskai? I just never like playing Knightly Valor, but I think I am going to take this just to cut white a little bit. Uh, there's a Tuinville Guide, the Nathan Stoyer tech. Okay, the, the green didn't wheel. I think it is interesting to note that like, I was thinking we were aggro, but we don't have to be. We really don't have to be. Um, felt like we were getting deeper into red, but then, um, you know, the light blades wield, I guess two and guide could get played. I don't think it will, but it could pick lock prankster wield. I could definitely see being ending up like white, blue, splash, red control. Again, this is, is this a card that I like very much? No, but it's certainly playable. Certainly wheel wears a knightly valor. Well, yeah, we're taking ice out here. And a clothier. Okay. Give me a direction. I do not get a direction. I get a Bramble Familiar. I get a Candy Grapple. And I get a bunch of Jeskai cards that I'm not that happy with. Hmm. I'm never playing Bramble Familiar. I, I could end up playing Candy Grapple. If we get fixing, like, I'm not going to miss Return Triumphant or Intangible Virtue. I'm not going to miss these red cards, I don't think. Um, I don't like Giant. I don't like Diminisher Witch. I mean, it is, it's fine, but I want to have stuff to bargain first. I think Grapple is the combo of best card in the pack that is most likely to make our deck even though that likelihood is low at the moment. Just Windmill Slam, Goose Mother, and I think we're very likely to live a white-blue based control life, which would mean cutting this, potentially splashing this, cutting this, anything else controlling in the board? No. Meaning we need to value Prism quite highly, like Prism Wilds in highly, Totentons three bowls, another Ice Out could wheel, Armory Mice. But yeah, Goose Mother for sure. It's just the best card we've seen so far. Hard to imagine not taking Prisms insanely highly too. Hilda. Yeah. Do I tap anything yet? No. But I can, potentially, get one of the, the two drops. Okay. I don't even know how I'm trying to sort this by, like, by splash. Um, I just want to think if there's, like, is there a world where I'm supposed to end up white, green, splash? That seems tough. Okay. Hilda, let's go. I think just as a, as a threat... Like, I don't, I don't feel, oh my goodness. I don't think there's something I want to take over this. Just a couple of blue-white mythics. Are these good? I don't know. I do want a gatekeeper. That's about the only other card in this pack that's tempting to me, but this is pretty cool with Goose Mother. Okay. You know, because Goose Mother needs stuff to make it good. Okay. Bitter Chill is excellent. Gives me a removal spell. Plays well with Hilda. I would like a stopgap in this deck. That's about it from this pack. Yeah, Bitter Chill, let's go. Um, I really like Disdainful Stroke. I think you can main deck this. I also think we could 
just keep this in the board. Fine. A couple of medium threes. Fairy Dream Thief is good, but yeah, Disdainful Stroke. Probably will end up playing it. Frostbridge Guard, let's go. There's our Tapper for the Hilda. Um, oh, I guess Toonville Guide could play nicely with Will. It's just a 3-mana 2-4 Vigilance. That's just good for me, too. Okay, Guard in. Three bowls. Gains me life. Taps. Yeah, three bowls. Get in. Plays nicely with the counterspelly stuff, too. So I'm going to bargain. Coven, no. Stopgap, I like, but I think not as, as much as taking the three bowls here. And now we have Giant versus Return versus Witch. Not a ton of stuff worth returning guess we're just taking a witch like giant is uh, i think witch is just better another ice out i mean if we don't see the fixing it's going to be very hard to justify these splashes goose mother i really do want to splash don't think we're uh i guess this plays well with hilda it's possible. Nice. We got a stopgap. Thrilled about that. Okay. Look at these blue cards that I don't want to play. <laughs> uh, actually, just a bunch of cards that no one should want to play. I guess we're taking Balloon as Gatekeeper. I like Sentinel. I guess we can we can switch this view here. I'm not playing Curiosity. I'm not playing Gadwick's first duel. So if we don't end up with fixing, which is top of my list right now, I think we really need like an into the fake court. We need a at least one way to, to draw a bunch of cards. I'll probably just regret not picking that up earlier. This is awkward because I don't think this card is actually that good in our deck. I'm gonna take Acolyte instead. Um, Frostbridge guard can wheel, but I do think like of the splashes, that are likely for us. Like green, I really want to do. Acolyte leans in there a little bit. Um, and I might just end up jamming a couple forests in here. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just not playing Frostbridge Garden. Like Soul Cauldron is good, but I don't think it's very good in this deck. Glass Casket versus actually a number of cards that I like here. What's my removal? My removal's not bad. Cooped up, light blades, bitter chill, some counter spells too. I think I like vigil here over casket. And we're likely to wheel what? Of guard, prankster, casket, transmuter. But yeah, we're taking vigil here. Another light blades is nice. Ooh. Actually, do I just want Bitter Chill over Light Blades? I think Light Blades has a higher chance of wheeling and Bitter Chill plays better with uh, Hilda. Man, I'm like all in on Hilda all of a sudden. Okay. Not going to get any fixing, huh? Sleight of Hand over Armory Mice. Sure. Does any of this do anything? <laughs> Permanent entering the battlefield? No. Candy Trail gains me some life for Will. I think we're just taking another gatekeeper. Yep. Evolving Wilds one time. Into the Fey Court, though. Hello. Wow, that's such a good draw. Not draw, such a good, uh, good find for us. Pick eight. No fixing. We do get a Galvanic Giant, which I actually might play with this Gatekeeper. Huh. Gosh, do I just not splash Goose Mother here? It's a real possibility, isn't it? Um, yeah, real possibility. I 
think it can't be a real possibility though. So we don't play sleight of hand because who cares? I think we really can. I definitely think we want 18 lands again. How many enchantments do I have? Five for this. I think the reindeer and Hilda is enough. I'm um, never playing Prowler or Airy, right? Just hate a Totentons, even though if anyone wanted that, they would have taken it the first time around. Well, I mean, it's the right deck. It's the right deck. And I, there's a lot to like about it, you know? A lot to like about it. A lot to not like about it, too, which is that there's no fixing. Okay. But we got to play the Goose Mother. I had Fawn's Bane Troll, Gruff Triplets, and uh, Goose Mom in my Arena Qualifier, or my the, the PTQ run. We had Troll and Gruff Triplets in the last deck. We're going to play Goose Mother in this deck. 14-9. Um, I do think two green. So we just run 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah? We just run 8-8. Eight, eight. Actually have a fairly deep sideboard. I don't know when we would side into this kind of stuff. I mean, I guess the other ice out is the <clears throat> consideration here. But I don't want to do too many counter spells. And I guess that's a other consideration for like I want blue blue. I can't run. Yeah, we'll do two green and we'll just call card draw the other way to, to splash. Okay. 882 with the goose mama. Let's do it. All right, folks. See you for the matches. Dang, we're up against a four. Okay, we'll play first. I will keep. I would expect a four to be on aggressive decks. It's generally his uh, his vibe. He's down to six here. Okay. Planes. Cheeky. House Mouse, what did I say? I mean, might as well, right? If, if I don't do this now, I'm signing up to take like four damage from this thing at least. Red, white, yep, what did I say? Rip. Gotta have a good reason not to cast your spells, folks. And I don't I don't have a good reason yet. I want this game to go on as long as possible. Let's see if he's got a celebrant here. It's a great curve if he does. Red cap thief. Okay. Light blades is nice. Do I? I could see wanting to like light blades sack to draw here potentially, or just light blades. Cause we are one land draw away from just firing off giant. I think I like that. I think I'm just gonna light blades here. Imidane. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it's big. That is big.
first courtier. Yeah. Sack this. I think I'm in for this. I don't know. Could be wrong. Let's just do this. Oof. Rip me. Cooped up Hilda. Um, let me see the sideboard here. Oh, what's going on? That was just weird. Another gatekeeper, I guess. And savior look good. There's charmed clothier. Yeah, we're in, in a lot of trouble here. Especially because like the thing I'm hoping to do is not affect the board next turn. Yeah, you're late. All right, mole to six. I was on the play too. I don't like my chances, folks. Could be a short video. Okay, let's cut the splash. Bring in a gatekeeper. Seventeen lands. Cut the counter spells. Two three. Guide Valor. Okay. All right, play first. Keep. Another mulligan. Uh, probably just lead on Frostbridge Guard, yeah. Spellbook vendor. Yikes. Just play Diminisher Witch. In a very weird spot where I'm like gonna start trying to race. Also, to four. Getting a Boros draft with Spellbook Vendor. Unbelievable. Uh, kind of want to bitter chill this and play pranks. Like bitter chill. 
and then prankster and attack both yeah or I guess I could light blades but he's gonna smell that from a mile away right so I think we just play this Stop. All right. Cooking up something. Nice. Mm. Uh, just this. Cordier, sure. Holy cow, there's your 4-4, four, four. wow. Wow, yep. I don't think I can win. It's gonna be tough. Gonna be tough. So, we attack with Prankster. We're tapping courtier with guard, I guess. What is this thing you have for single white? You have Archon's Blessing? Or Archon's Glory? Okay. I assume they're, he's gonna like replace, replace here. Just to get a bunch of one ones. This is pretty sick. Spellbook vendor against blue white. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tap Courtier. Cool. Bitter Chill the 3-3. Three, three. I mean, how do I beat this? I truly do not know how I beat this. Tap Knight of Doves, serve? That doesn't really even do anything. Yeah. This, this engine is very cool. I mean, if I draw Hilda, I could maybe do some stuff. Get my own engine going. I don't know. Knightly Valor is pretty sick. Knightly Valor is pretty sick. I 
What's all this about? His torch? Oh, he has Archon's Blessing. This is Break the Spell. That's what that was. Okay. All right, Hilda. So sick. Ah. All right. Pretty tough here. Pretty tough. At least I'm glad people are getting to see this masterpiece over here. Oh god, this, I'm gonna get buried in the scries. I basically need Hilda like right now. Yeah, scry one top, definitely dead. Yep. Okay. It's a young hero. Oh, young hero on a 1 1. Yeah, that's something. For sure. Wish I had expel in this deck. <laughs> all right gosh i mean i'm not technically dead but i really have no will to continue playing this i guess a two three flyer or something I guess I'm tapping this. I don't know, and then taking four from the Pyro Hammer. Oh, 
No attacks, huh? Whoa. Pick up Frostbridge Guard. All right, I get to draw. This is lifelink and vigilance? No. God, why do I have to navigate this game right now? I don't want to do this. Okay, so, hello. And then, pass. No, you just have a way to kill Hilda immediately, I guess. Oh, Ginger Brute. Okay. Fine. Okay. I think we are going to then tap this. What is happening right now? Who are you tapping? Oh! <laughs> okay. It's cute. Very cute. Oh, weird. Scry one top, okay. All right, stop gap. What do you do? Anything? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh... So we vigil. Makes me feel like I have to attack with Toon Veil Guide, but it's like the only thing holding off their stuff. Oh, I could bounce Bitter Chill and reassign it to the Frostbridge Guard. I like that. Is that right? Frostbridge Guard is kind of messing me up here. This can't be it, right? Spot and bottom those. Okay, is that a land that I can play? That's good, because then I can chill this.
Hmm. This is so stressful. Okay. Where's the sorcerer role going? Just on a new one one? Okay. So I believe we're tapping a three three flyer. Stop. What is this? Hopefully it's just pausing because of Ginger Brute. Doesn't seem like it. Wow. So now I'm just dead, right? Basically. Now I have to make a 4 4, but I'm just dead in the air. Yeah. Yep. That's stinky. I mean, DeFore's a great magic player. Can't feel bad to lose to him, but. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. So I have to. No, I'm just dead if he activates Brute. Oh, he already did activate Brute, right? Yep. All right. GG's, dude. No money this time, folks. Thanks for watching.